Hello, so this video is on food and nutrition. In this educational session, we will learn about the food pyramid, the different food groups, what foods are in each group, and the recommended guidelines for how much we should eat from each group. Participants will have an opportunity to discuss what foods are missing in their diet. If your clubhouse's food service unit has foods available, have these foods available, they may be able to bring some of them into the session so members and staff can see and talk about them. Do you know what the different food groups are? So you've got your dairy, um, protein, your protein and meats, your whole grains and your fruits and vegetables. Uh, do you know how much you should eat from each group on a daily basis? One tool that you can use to develop a healthy and balanced diet is the food pyramid. The food pyramid is a general guide for the kinds of foods you should eat each day. The diagram next to us contains the food pyramid. We will review each food group and the recommended daily amounts that you should eat from each category. So we've got meats and beans, milk, fruits, vegetables, grains, and there's also oils, you know, on this list. So we're going to start off with grains. The foods below are all examples of grains. Bread, oatmeal, some cereals, pasta is made from rice, oats, wheat, and barley. Grains can be whole wheat flour, oatmeal, cornmeal, popcorn, or brown rice. Grains should be refined. Um, refined grains include Refried grains include white flour, white bread, tortillas, many crackers, cornbreads, and white rice. The refining process removes some of the more important nutrients like dietary fiber, iron, and many B vitamins from the grains. Most of these refined grains are enriched. However, the enriching process does not replace the fiber. Be sure to read the ingredients on the package to see if the grains in the products you buy are made with enriched flour or grains if they are not made from whole grains. Some food products are made with a mixture of whole grains and refi refined grains. Some products also contain bran, which is important for health. Remember, at least half of the grains you sh eat should be whole grains. So you should be having about six ounces per day, which is a one ounce equivalent of grains would be one slice of bread, one cup of dried cereal, or a half a cup of cooked rice, pasta, or cereal. The next food group is vegetables. Generally, the greener the vegetable is, the better it is for you. Vegetables are organized into five subgroups based on nutrient content. Vegetables may be raw or cooked, fresh, frozen, canned, dried, or dehydrated. They also may be whole, cut up, or mashed. Below is a brief description of the subgroups. So we have dark green vegetables, including broccoli, spinach, dark leafy greens, Swiss chard, collard greens, mustard greens, bok choy, kale, and watercress. Orange vegetables include carrot, sweet potato, pumpkin, several different squashes, including acorn, butternut, and hubbard. Dried beans and peas includes many beans, navy, black, lima, chickpea, pinto, kidney, soy, and white, white, uh, lentil, split peas, and tofu. Starchy vegetables, which includes potatoes, corn, green beans, and lima beans. And then there's just the other category, so that's everything that doesn't fit into one of the others. You can add vegetables to your diet by having a salad with lunch or dinner, eating raw broccoli, carrot sticks, or celery sticks as a snack. So this you want about 2.5 cups per day, and remember to vary your veggies. The next food group here is fruits. Any fruit or 100% fruit juices can count as part of the fruit group. Fruits may be fresh, canned, frozen, dried, and may be whole, cut up, or pureed. Fruits include apples, oranges, bananas, grapes, peaches, pineapple, avocado, nectarines, strawberries, blueberries, cherries, raspberries, cantaloupe, watermelon, pears, raisins, or prunes. What are some vegetables you are willing to try? Or fruit? Remember, focus on fruit. 
eat a variety of different fruits and try to limit juices. So this you want about two cups per day. And next we will have oils. Oils are fats that are liquid at room temperature, like vegetable oils used in cooking. Oils come in very many different plants and from fish. Common oils include canola, sunflower, corn, olive, or safflower. Beware of baked goods, packaged foods, and fast foods that may contain unhealthy oils. It is better to get your oils from sources like nuts, some fish, avocado, or olives. A few plant oils are high in saturated fat and are considered solid fats for nutritional purposes. These fats are solid at room temperature, like butter and shortening. Common solid fats include butter, margarine, shortening, or fats from chicken, pork, and beef. This you want probably five to six teaspoons per day. Then we have milk or dairy products. All liquid milk products and food made from milk that retain their calcium content are part of this food group. Most choices from the milk group should be fat-free or low-fat. Common milk items include liquid milks, cheeses, yogurts, cottage cheese, pudding, ice cream, or frozen yogurt. In general, one cup of milk or yogurt, one and a half ounces of natural cheese, or two ounces of processed cheese is considered one cup from the milk group. There are lactose-free and low-lactose products available for people that are lactose intolerant. Some cheeses are lower in fat than others. Laughing cow cheeses are low in calories and fat. Other cheeses that are lower in fat include heart, skim, uh, mozzarella, and string cheeses. Remember, choose milk, yogurt, and cheeses that are fat-free or low-fat, and try to avoid milk products that are sweet. So you want about three cups per day of milk or dairy products. So now we have our meats, eggs, and nuts. All foods made from meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, or peas, eggs, nuts, and seeds are considered part of this group. Dry beans and peas are a part of this group as well as the vegetable group. Common items in this group include lean meats like your beef, pork, veal, ham, lamb, rabbit, or venison, poultry, chicken, turkey, duck, or goose, eggs, dry beans and peas, navy black, lima, chickpeas, pinto, kidney, soy, and white beans, lentils and tofu, fish, catfish, tuna, trout, salmon, cod, or haddock, flounder, snapper, swordfish, or sea bass, shellfish, lobster, shrimp, clams, crabs, oysters, scallops, squid, and canfish, nuts and seeds, walnuts, pumpkin, sunflower seeds, peanuts, almonds, cashews, pecans, pistachios, or mixed nuts. Remember, most of your meats and poultry choices should be lean or low-fat. Fish, nuts, and seeds are healthy alternatives to meat or poultry, as they contain sources of good fatty acids. Try to avoid fresh fried um, foods or processed meats, like ham, sausage, bologna, salami, and hot dogs. Make varied choices from this group to maximize the benefits from these foods. Now, what does a healthy eating plate look like? Recently, the USDA presented a food plate to help people see how much of the meals should be from certain foods. Notice that half the plate below is, well, next to us, is fruits and vegetables. The food plate helps you eat healthier by giving you a visual reminder of having a healthier diet and balancing your meals. You can learn more about the food plate at choosemyplate.gov website that has information about eating healthier. So does, what food groups do you get the most from? Uh, I'd probably say protein. Meat. I probably eat more meat than any two. What food groups are missing or do you get too, do you get too much or too little of? I think I probably need to add some more fruit and better dairy. I need to switch what kind of dairy. List two or three ways that you can improve your health by balancing your diet. Lose weight, be better shape, breathe better. What is one bad eating or snacking habit that you could substitute for a healthy one? 
Um, for me, it'd be when I eat. So I have some organizational questions for the clubhouse. Does clubhouse provide these foods? Does do lunches reflect a healthy eating plate? And what areas could clubhouse improve? And then I have some small steps for changing your eating habits. So you don't have to start all of this at once. You can start small by like writing it down. So write down every morsel you put on your mouth. This lets you see things clearly, how many calories you're taking in and where you cut out calories. To put your phone to work, you can use smartphone apps that can track calories, carbohydrates, and exercise. I have a tablet I use for all of that to keep track of the writing it down process as well. Be here now, put your fork down in between each bite and devote all of your attention to what you're doing. And don't skip meals. Meal skipping just sets you up for to eat more later. Um, try to stay on a schedule of three meals per day or six small meals. Two smaller portions, get those measuring cups out and learn exactly what one cup of food looks like. This will help you make informed choices about healthy portion sizes. Use smaller plates. Uh, this one's pretty simple. It's harder to overload on food when your plate can only hold so much. Stop drinking your calories. One of the best things you can do to change habits is to become more conscious about where your calories come from. For example, many people consume hundreds, if not thousands, of calories a day through their beverages. Coffees, juices, sodas, and energy drinks can contain hundreds of calories, and this is usually better than eating a full-on meal. But eat, buy a cookbook and cook for yourself. Nine, keep more fruits than low-fat dairy products, vegetables, and whole grains at home and at work. Focus on adding healthy foods to your diet rather than just taking the unhealthy foods away. Chew gum when you cook so you won't be tempted to snack on the ingredients. Pack a healthy lunch and snacks for work so this lets you have more control over what you eat. And finally, drink water instead of high sugar drinks. And then I added some resources so you've got the choosemyplate.gov. Clubhouse members can go to other members and staff for support. Include You can include wellness into your plan. Discuss with your primary care doctor. Um, snap. So the state has a cookie matters to help with this if you receive stuff. Eatright.org is a website for nutrition. Um, on one, it's basically a one-stop shop for basic nutritional info. Um, I'm a PCHC client, and they have nutritional services. Northern Light has some diabetes care services, as well as a medical uh, weight management. But that is it for this. Thank you for listening.